the green room, always a good one to kick start our day off with. We've got plenty more rides to come. We'll head over to the rip soon, but first, let's see how Curio is going, catching up with his school excursion buddies. Come on, guys, let's go. You know, at the shack, I'm the one who organises stuff. I'm the one who makes sure everything's OK. So today, I'm getting a little bit of a break. I'm going on a school excursion, and I'm just going to hang out with the other kids and let the teachers do all the stressing. Mr. Phil said, sorry, mate. G'day, Kira. How are you going, mate? Very well, thank you. Glad you could make it today because we've got some very important things to do with the kids. But first of all, I want to introduce you to them. Yes. So, boys and girls, this is Mr. Curio. Morning, Mr. Curio. Ah, uh, yeah, some mistake. Uh, I was just going to hang out with the gang, you know. Oh, no, no, no. That's not possible. We've got lots of things to do today, and the three things that I need you to concentrate on yeah. are making sure that you supervise your group at all times, make sure that they get their data, and then at the end of the day, we have to meet up so we can take our trip back to school. OK, well, it's, yeah, OK. I guess I can just call me Mr C. Morning, Mr C. Excellent. Well, let's get to it then. It's kind of unnerving. It's like Village of the Damned. All right, let's go, class. That's it, everyone. Keep moving along. Stay in a nice, tight group. Very nice. All right, Mr. Kira, but we already know what we're doing. You all cool with everything? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Fine, sweet, yeah. sweet. I'm just, you know, yeah. getting you back. Is anyone chewing gum? So I could really do with a piece. So why are physics students at a fun-loving theme park? Well, behind all the laughs, there is some pretty serious science. Take the claw, for example. On one hand, it could be a giant claw that makes you scream. Or it could be a massive disc rotating at five revolutions per minute on a pendulum that swings 240 degrees, taking it up to 27.1 metres at full swing with a maximum velocity of up to 75 kilometres per hour. Whew. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. Please. Oh, it's what we missed to see. Oh. What do you want us to do next, Mr. Kira? We all we all just gonna sit down for a little while, all right? All right. Get some air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Where should we go from here? All right. Well, what's what's next on the list? Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. Oh, okay. Well, what are we doing there? We're, we're measuring the acceleration and the forces. Okay, acceleration it is. Carpe diem, it sees the day. Are you inspired? Yes! Yes! Yeah, good. Stand up on a desk or something soon. All right, let's go. It appears I'm now in charge of this group of Year 11 physics students from St. Stephen's College. Mitch, Brandon, Aaron and Alison. All right, class, off to the Tower of Terror now to look at some acceleration just over this way. Actually, it's over there. Partial credit, Mitch. Partial credit. Here's the Tower of Terror. Named so because it's both a tower and you experience terror. Really? Put that down, that will be on the test. All right. We'll get up there, we'll get some calculations, we'll get those worksheets filled out. Sure. We'll have some good times. All righty, so who's wearing the accelerometer? I'll go. Erin? You're yeah. in, OK. Aaron is wearing a vest with a small data logging computer that will measure the acceleration of the Tower of Terror gondola. This information will be downloaded in class so the students can work out the acceleration in metres per second squared or in g-forces. I know my stuff. OK, all set? Yeah. OK, students, let's do this. Data logger is prepped. You just press play when you... Yeah, before, just, as, just as you're about to go, press play. Zero to 160 kilometres per hour in seven seconds by electromagnetic forces. Up 38 storeys high, followed by a 100 metre vertical backwards freefall. That equates to a 6.5 second feeling of weightlessness. Good job, class. Good job. You Whoa. screamed well. <laughs> that was awesome! I can't even believe that just happened. We're like sitting there at the start and then it just fired us out like we're flying out of a cannon. That was 
Job. The giant drop! Yes! The giant drop, you guys! Come on, Mr. Curio. I'll race all for you. <laughs> These guys are losing the race to measure the height of the giant drop tower with a triangulation device. Come on! My parents waiting for us to go on it. Ah, oh, finally! Come on! Mr. Curio? School excursions aren't just for fun, it's also supposed to be a learning experience. We're supposed to have work shown for what we're doing right now. Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of work going on here. Look at all this is work happening. All right, Alison, don't freak out. What's going on? Just chill. All righty, guys, put those calculators away and allow me to break the giant drop down for you. It's 119 metres high, the tallest vertical free fall ride, and pulls about four and a half Gs. Finally, it's leadership. I heard that, Brereton. This ride is a complex system of computers, cables, and magnets. Travels of speeds of up to 140 kilometers an hour. Now he has something to say. I heard that, Brereton. Wasn't me, sir. Whoever it was, don't make me come down there. And if you want to be a teacher's man, well, baby, you just have to get in. Rock on your return, rock on your return. Oh, this is it. Guys, it's been great fun hanging out with you today. I've learned heaps. I do have a small confession to make, though. Let me guess. You're not really a teacher, are you? No. How did you know? I'm a physics student. I'm smart. Right, so I suppose uh, a captain, my captain's out of the question? Yeah. Fair enough. Class? Dismissed. Uh-uh. Curio dismissed. We've got work to do. Fair enough. Yeah.